Hello, hello. Welcome one and all to Handle Labber Live Special Edition with Green Ronin. This is the first preview of Sentinels of Earth Prime Super Heroic Card, Super Heroic Card Game Digital Edition uh, that you have seen. We've shown uh, a few you know, sneak peeks on the Kickstarter and so on uh, in still image form, but we're going to be actually playing the game in the brand new UI uh, tonight. So uh, welcome, one and all, on Twitch and Green Ronin's YouTube. So uh, in case anyone isn't familiar uh, with me, I'm John, aka Migrant P, uh, lead developer at Handelabra Games. I stream here every Tuesday evening at this time. And uh, yeah, I play a lot of Sentinels, Spirit Island, Neon's End, and our other games. Uh, but we've wor been working hard on Earth Prime, and we're pretty happy to show it off. Tonight, I actually have, you might think I have two special guests, but actually, there's an invisible special guest. Invisible special guest, who are you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you can introduce yourself, Chris. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know you were talking about me. <laughs> oh, because everyone else has their video. <laughs> That's <Well>. all. <laughs> oh, right. It's, it's me, Chris Premis, founder and president of Green Ronin Publishing. Yay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I would. Is it fair to say that Sentinels of Earth Prime is your brainchild? Um. Yeah. Or you're at uh, least a co-parent of the brainchild. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, mean, I can tell you the very short version of how the game happened. If you... Sure, why not? Um, so uh, I actually have been playing your digital version of uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse on my iPad like, quite a bit. And I went on the Jonathan Colton cruise and um, uh, you know, I got uh, to meet um, the designer and... Uh, we were like, hey, man, I like the game. <laughs> yeah, and, Christopher uh, Vidal is a Joko Cruise guy as well, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he is. And Christopher was like, I love meeting some masterminds. And so um, uh, we just started talking and it seemed like a cool crossover idea. And, uh, and then that, that was the beginning and uh, turned into um, the whole thing. And here we are at the next mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Back to digital. Uh, after a physical game Kickstarter and then a digital game Kickstarter. And so, uh, yep. yeah, this uh, has come along really nicely. We also have Steve. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Steve Kenson. I am the designer of Mutants and Masterminds and uh, the designer of the uh, original um, Earth Prime setting with uh, Freedom City uh, and its uh, various spin-offs. So uh, I'm really uh, looking forward to seeing all of these characters in play. Nice. Yeah, and it's uh, it's really cool. Like we've been able to to see a lot of the depth behind all the characters and and setting and everything that uh, I didn't know about until I got into this. So <laughs> <laughs> that's really cool. And uh, also we have Alex. Ah, hi everybody. I am the new line developer for Mutants and Masterminds. A very, I'm a very big fan of the Handelabra digital uh, Sentinels games, and I'm excited to be messing around in our universe uh, tonight. It's going to be great. Cool. So yes, everyone here has played a bunch of Sentinels Digital, except Steve. <laughs> so <laughs> right. that's that's part of, the, part of the fun, is figuring that out. So uh, that should be good. So we're going to get into online multiplayer, uh, and we're going to focus on Earth Prime tonight, uh, but... In case you didn't know, uh, the game is fully cross-compatible with Sentinels of the Multiverse. So if you own both right. games, you can play the content from each game in the other game and mix and match all of your stuff. And me, how cool is that? <laughs> yeah. Some technical trickery was required for that. But uh, so far, so good. So, uh, so yeah. So you might see some of these notices on some of the screens uh, in the game that this screen is not finalized yet. So some of the screens are not quite finished. That um, The game is sort of uh, a customized version of the Sentinels of the Multiverse game. And so sort of by default, some things do still look like Sentinels of the Multiverse, but um, it is all gonna be updated to look super cool. 
and the main gameplay is all updated but for that so we're gonna be playing the guru meta mine tonight uh at least first we'll see what happens if we play another game and uh yeah so i must choose a hero we have daedalus johnny rocket and captain thunder i'm gonna pull in let's see how about star knight mm -hmm. good choice and any environment preference from anyone um well probably freedom city is a good spot. Yeah, sure makes sense all right and one thing the beginning of the whole setting Yes, that's true. Uh, I realize we do not have music for these yet. Music is being composed, uh, maybe not exactly as we speak, but uh, these days it's still being composed by mm -hmm. Jean-Marc Giffen, and he's working on music for the villains and the, and the environments. Uh, but we don't have it just yet, so once we get in, I'm going to turn on some random Sentinels background music, I think. Mm -hmm. So we can all hit ready and we can get in all right so the Gru are you know these red guys but that's not the real mm -hmm. threat is it steve no in fact the the Gru are a alien hive mind species and they're all coordinated by uh, the being that's called the, the meta mind that uh sort of uh brain in a jello mold uh, that you see uh, behind them there yeah so that's kind of sort of an astral projection going on mm -hmm. of the meta mind uh, and at first there's uh, a lot of guru attacking us in the invasion and we have to deal with the meta mind itself once we can flip the card so i'm going to click start game and while it's animating in some of the starter game stuff i will get some music turned on here so the first thing meta is going to do is play some grooves at us I might have a, do I have a music already? That's a good question. That would I just be. think it's wild. It's not the only brain in a jar we have in our setting. No, not even close. We have a <laughs> lot of brains and a lot of jars. A lot of brains and a lot of jars and other containers. Mm -hmm. Fashionable. Yeah. We have a brain that's not in a jar unless you call the collective unconsciousness of humanity a jar. Mm, some do. I think last time what I just did was I played music out of iTunes, which is not called iTunes anymore. No, it's not, which is sad, but there we are. But if you search for Jean-Marc Giffen, then there it is. Yeah, it's actually at the same volume level I did this last time. Perfect. All right, so... Uh, the Metamine played a Gru Brute. Just a group brute. It just plays one at the start, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's how um, it starts. Yeah, how it starts. How it always starts. Uh, <laughs> and exert control was played, a one shot, which is going to destroy hero ongoing, but there wasn't any at the start of the game. Uh, the two hero targets with the highest HP each deal the other three melee damage. So here, uh, they're both, there's two targets, but it's basically asking us to order uh, because that could matter for Sentinel's mm -hmm. reasons. Uh, but we can just hit choose for me because. We know the order yeah. probably won't matter here. So as soon as a majority of us click choose for me, it will carry it carry through. Someone click choose for me. <laughs> uh, at the bottom right, there's there you go. We got there. Okay. Oh, sorry, Captain Thunder. <laughs> and... It's okay. It's yeah. Now at the end of the turn, uh, yeah, it reveals. Oh look, it's a picture of Gru Brute and Captain Thunder. How? Uh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> My square jaw can. And now... the most invulnerable one. Yeah, who is considered to have the second highest, which is going to get hit by this Gru Brute? Is Captain oh, Thunder going to volunteer? Seems Thunder. like the sort. Yeah, he is kind of. And again, we have potential to order. And his guru don't give up. Nope. 
Yeah, and the more Gru start coming out, the more of them start showing up on the screen there, too. And... Once again, I nominate Captain Thunder. <laughs> I mean, you could throw a vote Captain over... Captain Thunder probably has ways to heal, right? <laughs> you could throw a vote over to uh, Daedalus. <laughs> Alright, now it's Stados' turn. Or we're all dragging cards up to play. Uh Yeah, so you can you're not dragging cards, but you can see that Daedalus is choosing. Mm -hmm. So you can click on a card to suggest a card that you think they should play. If you want. But so the default in the game is that you don't get to see the, the cards that other players have. Um, but we have that mm -hmm. turned on for because it makes the stream a little awkward otherwise <laughs> when people right. are watching. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my gravity well and deal some damage to all of the guru for each non hero target. Yeah, so gravity well, that's a nice one. Start of your turn with a mm -hmm. cost of three cards. You get to draw cards, that's awesome. Drawing cards. Draw so many. <laughs> Daedalus should not fly too it's close to the sun. Mm -hmm. Oh, we aren't robust about that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Drag cards to the uh, quick stop when done. Yeah, and most of the time in Sentinels, um, the the digital version is set up so you know if if you uh, optionally would draw a card, like sure, just draw it unless there's something that maybe it's going to damage you or something like that. But with Daedalus, mm -hmm. we made it so it always asks you <laughs> because a lot of the time you're going to want to say no. All right. So how do I get to look at my cards to? Uh, yeah, you can right click or double click on any card to bring it up in full. And then you can use the arrows to cycle through them. And some of them say handy things like on interstate charge, it'll tell you how many cards have been played this turn. Uh, that's going to yeah. be that X. Right. Or Daedalus, for example, his equipment will say how many cards he has in his hand. Because at the end of his turn, if he has seven or more, he will deal mm -hmm. himself four fire damage and destroy this card. He gets blown up. And the most painful thing is none of them say, like, get rid of your cards in that case. So if you have multiple equipments that do that, you take four damage for each one. Right. All right. So if I play my leading mockery, I'm going to deal the arc card. Yeah, so we could decide to get rid of it or put it back or bury it, um, basically. Let's move that from the bottom of the deck. And then I can still play one. Yep. Johnny Rocket likes to play cards. Yep. <laughs> so speed. Uh, so speed. Where did I wind up? Do some damage to these green boots. Oh, yeah, we have uh, in our Twitch chat, we have Iron Moose, uh, who's a beta tester, mentioning they love Johnny Rocket uh, a lot. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah, Johnny. I really like how um, Chris Fidel uh, did the different themes of a lot of the characters, because obviously, you know, there's some similar superhero archetypes mm -hmm. uh, that show up recurring, but they have, I like how they have unique power sets. Uh, regardless 
yeah, they have a they have a a different way to implement the same kind of thing. It's cool. Uh, a different approach to it. Johnny can just play lots of cards. That's what's up. Yeah, he definitely has decisions about like building up those momentum cards in play. Yeah. And when to destroy them, that kind of thing. Yeah. It's me. Captain Thunder is here. A lot of these, at least no, one one of these cards, one of these cards has you shooting a whole bunch of Gru. <laughs> it's like the game is trying to tell you something. <laughs> yes, that is arcing my, bolts. my arcing bolts. It's like Steve set something up for you. <laughs> right, yeah. We completely planned this. Oh, suck it, Gru. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and your brother. And your cousin. So are the Gru like actual clones or are they like manufactured or what's their situation? Well, they're, um, yeah, I guess you kind of think of them as clones in that they, you know, kind of reproduced by mitosis okay essentially split you know deal one damage what should i do Ooh. yes so you may notice even though there's no drone there's no group uh cards in play we still leave one there otherwise metamind would yeah. feel lonely so yeah right, <laughs> right. Metamind, that's the one thing the metamind hates is feeling lonely yeah and of course, you know, in the game sort of concept, there's probably thousands of these all over the place. There's just the ones that happen to be nearby that we're fighting. Right. All right. So I get to play a card. Ooh. Yeah, the whole planet is covered in Gru right now. There's Emerald City heroes dealing with it. Mm. Emerald heroes dealing with it. Here's Johnny taking a turn on someone else's turn. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that was appropriate. <laughs> that oh look, I got two mockery in there. Alright. So like you, Steve, the mockery isn't just No. <laughs> Feel some lasting damage. I'm uh We have Apuk and Claude here in the uh, Green Ramin chat saying hello. Hey, you guys. Oh, welcome. Iron Moose asks, what's the maximum number of Gru that can be on screen and can it be increased? <laughs> I mean, right now we have five as the maximum, but it could be increased, certainly. It's more... So Alex, Daedalus has some equipment cards, right? I do have some equipment cards. All right, why don't we do rapid retrieval as long as we're doing our teamwork theme. And then you can... Um... Get a piece of equipment. Ooh. There's a lot of pieces of equipment. Yes. Daedalus is one of those equipment forward heroes. Yep. One of the things I do like is these are these little uh, comic book quotes in the bottom of the cards. Yeah. Yep. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, you know, Steve wrote all this. In the early days of Multiverse Digital, we thought we would potentially do something like when you play a card, it would like pop up their quote from the bottom, like mm -hmm. out of their mouth or something like that in a little speech bubble. We never got to that, but you know, that idea is still in my head. So maybe that idea comes mm. back. We'll see. <laughs> Ooh, Ina's atmosphere is a good one. Mm, yeah. You just get to do more stuff on your turn. All right. It's a good synergy card with Captain Thunder. Yeah. Star Knight is here. My power will deal two damage, which unfortunately is reduced by one from Metamind. 
Uh, let's have a look at my cards here. Augmented Burst. Doesn't do anything right now. Cosmic Dynamo is fine. Starbeam isn't... Starbeam is so good later on. <laughs> mm. X damage. Number of cards move this way times two. Oh yeah, and Star Knight Oath is a little good for later on now. So let's go with Cosmic Dynamo. And... Yeah, you know what? I could just discard all those cards, but I'll I'll just do a punch. A small punch. When in doubt. <laughs> yep. Punch the spaceship in the face. When in doubt. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Soon I'll be doing energy damage, so. The Phantom Cab. What is going on in the background of this? Is that a Gru in the back? I think so, right? I'm looking at the picture. Yeah, I'm not sure yeah, what that's so. I think that's the, uh, yeah, I think that's the Phantom Cab getting people to safety mm. from the invading Gru. Uh, so someone gets to draw three cards. Daedalus opts out. I would <laughs> not like to draw three cards. <laughs> uh, Johnny Rocket loves a cab ride. Johnny is happy to draw cards. Yeah. So. I will blow up if I draw cards. <laughs> <laughs> that seems bad. <laughs> It'd be fitting for the way I play Data West most of the time. Mm hmm. I've definitely played the yes, uh, always draw cards version of Daedalus, which is crazy. You get so many cards. You just have to be careful. <laughs> yeah, Daedalus is usually the my preferred damsel in distress in the ongoing Eminem campaign I'm running. <laughs> yeah, it's always getting kidnapped, killed. He did get in a, he did get into an argument with the players about the difference between being abducted and imprisoned last time they rescued him. <laughs> now Iron Moose thinks that Phantom Cab in art might be Omega doing something with portals. Not oh yeah, it, it could be. It's a red figure, so mm, that's true. Uh here we have who's the highest? Uh Star Knight could take it, but Johnny Rock is I think at full. Yeah, so he hasn't taken anything yet. Johnny could take a hit, and then everyone can he have a chance to heal at some point if we have that opportunity. I don't know that anyone Ooh. here actually heals each other, but and that's kind of Lady Liberty's too. Yeah, I don't think that's really Captain Thunder's thing. <laughs> Come on, Captain Thunder, defibrillate me. <laughs> <laughs> Here, the order probably doesn't matter unless there's Slide. something else in play. No, so choose for me is probably yeah. okay. Yeah. Gravity well for everybody. Just drop a planet on him. Iron, Mo um, Iron Moose sends was destroyed. kudos to the team on the design and implicit lore around Omega and the term Terminus. Those two decks fit together beautifully. Yeah, it's pretty cool that there's breaches and stuff and Omega yeah. drones in there that all connect up with what Omega's doing in really a terrible, terrible way for the player. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, that was, uh, I mean, Christopher did a really great job um, you know, looking at the powers and the backgrounds of the character mm -hmm. translating yeah. that the mechanics to the card game. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to fight Omega, that's probably the... That's like not where you would go that's fight him in an M&M &M campaign either, right? Yeah. Like, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to fight him on his home turf. Yeah, at literally the seat of his power. Guard one card, play one card. I've already got an anti graph field up, so I'll discard that card. Mm -hmm. I can play a card. I'm going to play the gravity cannon. Sounds good. <laughs> no, I do not want to draw yeah. a card. Yeah, here's where you start saying button. no a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? I'm going to be in danger when that gravity cannon goes off and I got to drive five. That I one, think I problem... think... Oh yeah, that one is not optional. <laughs> 
Sorry, Chris. Oh, I was going to say, I think the problem with uh, your armor, Alex, is there's not enough USB ports. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, you see, Dados got really attached to a charging cable back in the 90s, and he's just uh -huh. refused to... Right, he's just it. used, he's patched and used that one ever since. <laughs> a lot of adapters roaming around in his life. Yeah. Dongles. Alright. Uh, do we want to do another leading mockery? Shit. Yeah, if you're up for rapid retrieval, I do have swords and shields and stuff I could grab. Okay. Uh, yep. or, uh, Claude says def um, these Gru would have already been defeated if Bowman were here. <laughs> The Bowman Brigade is here in force. All right, let's see. Bowman is pretty amazing in this game. As he should pretty be. Pretty amazing in most games. Yeah. While playing Bowman, something about just punching things really hard. With light. <laughs> All right, Star Knight. Rapid retrieval. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'm feeling the sword of the Star Knight. That will help me get through the damage reduction. Lenaria asks, how does the beta how do the beta heroes hold up against misinformation? I don't think I've actually played that matchup yet. Right? There's, yeah, that's one of the reasons why we wanted to get the game into beta testing. It's It's been in beta testing for about a month now, I think. Because getting just people mm -hmm. playing all those, there's so many combinations of things that can happen. Yeah. Combined, you know, the core game itself has around 9,000 combinations similar to core game of multiverse. But when you combine yeah. everything together, that's a lot. I still have a card yeah. to play. Oh, I pronounced the username right. Which is extra difficult because it's dark purple on black, so I'm not totally sure what all the letters are. <laughs> Sometimes Twitch Twitch color schemes can be hard to see. Yeah, Lunaria. Like Gaia, I assume. But with the moon. Yeah, an I not an L. Have you played the maximum speed Johnny Rocket variant, Steve? I haven't yet. It is something else. <laughs> <laughs> the um, I I like the um, all of the art we came up with for that. Yeah. Concept. That was some great stuff. Yeah, I don't know if I I'm trying to remember. I don't know if he's shown the the variant on stream yet. Um, but it's got a really cool effect on the incapacitated. When he's knocked out, he starts fading away. Yeah. It's kind of great. I hate when that happens to my speedsters. <laughs> it's ironic that Johnny Rocket is so speedy, but he can play so many cards in the game. His turn gets to be so long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, for him, it's not. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Just simulating that uh, feeling of seeing everything in slow motion. Yeah. Yep. Compared to everybody else. Hey, Pricey Provinces is here. Thanks for the Prime sub. 25 months. You're into your terrible twos. Sorry, I'm trying to decide which is this. some damage to us <laughs> charged field nice 
I shall choose the one power that I can choose. You could also choose to skip if that was what you wanted. Do something wrong? No, I mean for you said you only have one power, but you don't have to use your power. Oh, oh you, yeah. Yeah. I know. Thank you, man. Night. Ooh, nice. free card. Let's get him. play Star Knight Oath, I think, or the Collimator. Oh yeah, the Collimator lets me do extra damage all the time. That's good. Mm. More card draws for Daedalus. It's not forced though. I think <laughs> it's May. <laughs> There's five cards. It's seven's the bad number, right? Seven's the bad number, but you're drawing like eight at the start of your turn. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a lot of fly freeze. You should be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything will be all right. And yeah, I guess it's Star Knight Oath because my one shots need me to have more cards at the bottom, so I, which I don't. And. Yeah, do we care about the Gru drone? Not the biggest threat at the moment. Yeah, it's actually just hitting me, and I. it's fine, so I'll hit Metamind. How much damage does it do? Because I've got to reduce damage by one. It does three, but it goes after the highest, so. Yeah. I will choose to do more damage to the objective. The let the, let the Gru drone alone. All right, I cannot read this name because it is dark blue on black. Something Rex? Oh, Sirex 2023. <laughs> is Sentinels of Earth Prime in open beta? It is in closed beta right now. So uh, currently in private beta, um, and it will be uh, available to the public in early 2023. That is the target we're working on. All right. Each player may draw two cards. Daedalus. <laughs> the emphasis on may. So we click everyone except Daedalus here, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I just click skip. Uh, if we oh, skip, no. skips for everyone. Okay. So I think we want to. I think if we click everyone except Daedalus. I can't, I'm not exactly. I don't know if I've come across this with Daedalus, but how it works with him, but. Mm -hmm. We can click Johnny Rocket and then Star Knight, and then yeah. skip after that. And then there's a skip. skip. Yeah, then they'll be skipped to skip Daedalus. Or we'll be wrong and I'll just blow up and it'll be fine. That, that's fine. Yeah. Either way. Star Knight wants cards. <laughs> hey. my rockets. There we go. Oh, he, oh yeah. This is the Star Knight Oath oh. always trips me up because right. every each time a villain target would deal damage, I can redirect it to me, yeah. uh, which is kind of an unusual effect in Sentinels where it's caring about the source of the damage for the redirect. So I'm gonna say yes because we want this Freedom City Hall to not get destroyed, right? Go away. Yeah. yeah. Some oh, and also I have minus two because of Chris. So. Yay! <laughs> What's up? Nice. Energy. <laughs> Real team! <laughs> we have Metamind's Imperative ongoing, which is increasing their damage by one. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah. that's not good. More brutes. Oh, this is like only one to Daedalus versus two to me, so. Yeah. I'll take it. Oh, and the charged field is still on. Yeah. Yeah, until the start of my turn. Yeah, we'll need one more vote for Daedalus here. And I have to say no, I don't want to redirect it. And 
this will be zero to Daedalus. Zero again to Daedalus. Yeah. We can hit choose for me on this. This is just the order. The first thing it does is choose which of the two hero targets with the highest HP, and then it does the damage. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can click choose for me. Yeah, there we go. Luckily, the rules of how Sentinel's damage work are well established. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, you're attacking the Freedom City Hall. <laughs> oh, I guess it is each non-hero target. Yeah. Whoops. Turns no. out City Hall is affected by gravity. <laughs> <laughs> that is unfortunate. <laughs> Sorry, City Hall. Oh, good well, thing we... Property damage had to happen. I mean... Yeah. Don't tell Dr. Metropolis. <laughs> no, he'll just fix it. Or planning on the architect. Draw four cards. <clears throat> I can only have one piece of the same equipment down at a time, right? Uh, it depends if it says uh, unique or not. Yeah, if it says whether it's, if it's limited, then you can't play another the same one. But if it's not, like you could have many graviton cannons if you want, if you can <clears throat> manage to <laughs> afford graviton. <laughs> afford so much card draw. Draw one card or destroy this card. I don't think I can afford to draw another card. Yeah, I don't know the environment is, like, hurting you that much anyway. Yeah, I'm hurting the environment when it's hurting you. <laughs> Five damage, blast a city hall, take that city hall. <laughs> I'm anti-Earth Daedalus. I'm going to shoot the metamine with the 500 <laughs> yeah. damage. Oh, good, I got my anti-grav card. Oh, I got five cards. I randomly saw the bit in the source book that was like any ni earth not to be confused with anti earth yep the animated version right or something yes <laughs> or anime the, the funny the funny animals earth oh right it's funny animals yeah. right yep. that's so many cards <laughs> discard one card either play one card or return this card to your hand i'm gonna play fly free Question is, is he going to make it down to six? <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, yeah. I think playing full card draw Daedalus is worth it just for Sensorium Sweep. It's such a good control card. Mm -hmm. You have to really commit to not using your equipment if you're playing that much. Yeah. So question for oh, what... sorry question for Steve. Do you have uh, a favorite piece of card art from any of the oh, gosh. sets we see here so... in this game? There's so many. There is I a mean... lot. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's just such a such a great uh, amount of really uh, kind of honestly great card art uh, in this set. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really it's kind of hard to to pick just one thing. One thing that's been nice is like making the digital version and then playing it like you actually get to see it a lot bigger than than on the cards mm -hmm. and there's like a lot yeah. of detail in, in a lot of it. It really is. It really is. <clears throat> uh, James Dawsey did a lot of the art direction uh, for the Sentinels vs. Prime set. And <clears throat> he did a really terrific job um, can, keeping the artists, you know, just on point with the character concepts. Mm -hmm. right, I think I've got my deck under control here. Where are you at? Eight cards. And you can discard one. Yeah, you're good. You're all set. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> you can discard one and play one, so... Yeah, you can even get further down. Keeping us under control. 
power. I'm uh, gonna go with a force wave door room. Oh, so this is the discard, sorry. Not really, okay. Yeah, door discard door is door first. Door. And then we'll play this card. <laughs> Do you want to draw a card? No! No! <laughs> Stop Get it! My... Get out of my face, Archimedes! <laughs> Would you like to draw a card? Meanwhile, Johnny Rocket, yes. More card draws, please. Yes, more cards. <laughs> All the cards. <laughs> uh, all right. uh, the trick with Daedalus is to stack up so much equipment that you can just nuke somebody in one turn and then nuke yourself. Right. Or win the game before you die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, free for all is tempting, but we don't have any really targets in play. Uh, anyway. Yeah, there's just really the one brute and the, yeah, the main villain. And the meta mind. So that's kind of a waste. Sonic Shattering's pretty good because those damage types aren't reduced. Yeah, that's true. Uh... Let's do... Oh, you know what? Short-term solution would actually make that Metamind's Imperative be one of the ones that Metamind reveals at the end of its turn, right? One one Yeah, that's true. So that's kind of interesting, too. Yeah. So, of course, it ends up getting shuffled back into the deck instead of destroyed. So right, it's not necessarily right. great, but... <laughs> Let's do King of Speed so I can still play a card after that. It helps my momentum. I don't think I knew that Data with Zama was the Hoplite Mark 7 or Mark 5 or. <laughs> Which Mark? <laughs> we ended up coming up with some elements of. Uh... There were definitely some questions that were like, hey, what's this called? Like, I don't know. We never decided. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh... A lot of different things to, to settle on for another print product, right? Where do I need to play in the oh. Well, I'm hearing the victory music. Uh, so we must, we, do, we just won the game, apparently. <laughs> in my, <laughs> from my iTunes. <laughs> Good job. Thanks, iTunes. All right. <laughs> we are the champions. <laughs> Switch to the Shattered Timeline soundtrack. Which is actually time cataclysms, traditionally what we always played on loop for environments we don't have music for yet. I still have another card to play? <laughs> wow, my turn is really long. Yeah, I think picking up speed is yeah, you get to play momentum from that yeah. and then you get to play any other card. Right. Uh because I just did short term solution, so Yeah, Iron Moose points out that oh, yeah. if uh City it. Hall's getting destroyed, we can avoid that with short term solution as well later on, potentially. Oh, but that's true. I think I'm happy to take the card draws from it though for now. Right. Especially because I can protect it from the villain damage, so. Can you protect it from my damage? I cannot. Well, 
I could, but you won't like it. If I... right. <laughs> I'd have to kill you. <laughs> nice. Yay. There we go. Fucking true spirit. Yeah. Use the power to use. You have the power, right? <laughs> you have the power. I suggest you use that power. Which one? Yeah, your Which base power. One? There we go. Let you play a card or draw a card. Yeah. I Guess Johnny Rocket doesn't have any other powers, right? So he doesn't really yeah, have. Yeah, true. Really, he always Drawing plays play. and plays and draws and draws. He doesn't have powers. Yeah. Really. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That is his power. And even the variant doesn't like it. Doesn't do anything besides yeah, play cards. Doesn't do anything different. Yeah. It's all in his deck. <laughs> hey, Captain Thunder does heal us. Turns out. If we want yeah. that with energize. Yay. Yes, I discovered that. <laughs> as long as you don't it's mind like getting I'm giving you a little zapped. <laughs> cardio shock or something. Right. Yeah. Like I had to relation. I had to do some special coding to let make that red text go into the flavor box there. So <laughs> <laughs> your efforts are appreciated. Right. Which power to choose from? Um, I'm going to choose it. Use power. Should I worry about that brute or just pile on the spaceship? I'm only taking down the Metamind's health a pretty fair amount. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the brute. Spaceship. Up to you, though. No. Um, you know, attack the leader. Yeah. Right. I advise. We must destroy the space donut. Huh. All right. Yeah, and if I'm actually doing protect and serve, which I think I am, then small amounts of damage I can just redirect to me easily as well. So, because mm. this gives me damage reduction by one. And chop, chop, mothership. Getting there. We're getting there. Yep. Bonus damage. We only have to fight the meta mine when we're done with it. That's yeah. all. Right. <laughs> hey, the Phantom Cab. More cards for Daedalus. No. <laughs> Johnny Rocket has eight cards in hand, but he could probably play them all. Yeah, probably. On his turn. <laughs> so he'll have more. Ooh, I like that one. Your damage boost and your yeah. repeat card. You've got a lot of momentums in play. Yep. Got a power flicker by the I just suddenly disappear. Whoops. Power's gone. Out. <laughs> Sounds like something that would happen to Captain uh -oh. Thunder. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> you getting some weather there? Um, you know, it's not 
we've had much like windier or nastier days so i don't, I don't know. <laughs> who knows could be a you know a rogue squirrel yeah the flicker is real <laughs> Yeah, here in the east coast of Canada, it's been like a really mild winter so far. Same here, honestly. We've had yeah. like way more sun than Seattle ever gets in November. It's yeah. Been like sunny, dry in a lot of days, which is huge. It's pretty unusual, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna... Sure. <laughs> There was another MetaMind's Imperative on top. Imperative. Oh, come on, MetaMind. MetaGrew. Oh, no, I hate this guy. <laughs> yeah. And he's got plus one damage. Yep. And Metamorph Infiltrator. Right, so... Yeah, this is just hitting both. Daedalus can take his lump. <laughs> oh, you got plus one against you, though, but then you have minus one as well, so. Yeah. I'll protect Captain Thunder this time. I think it's only Thanks, two for me. Yeah. Oh, and here. No, do not redirect this to Star Knight. <laughs> this is one of the cases where this card, like, kind of trip you up a little bit. <laughs> right. No, no, that's for you. Yeah. Right. And here, yes, this one can go to me for just one. I love that the meta grew does damage to the meta mind. To the meta mind. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's trying to take over, right? He's, he's rebellious. Yeah. Oh, look, I dealt damage this turn. I can put a card on the bottom of my deck. Mm -hmm. I assume you're just going to kill everything else, so... <laughs> Here we go. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I can just do it to everybody. Getting a little Icarus benefit there, just zapping everybody. Right. All right, Daedalus. No, quit drawing cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go. My uh, meta, meta mind. Take your six points of damage and like it. And now you draw five cards. Yep. Now you could play another one of those. <laughs> I'll do a whole bunch of damage for one round. Right? And then implode. Oi, 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 oi. Um losing track of what you're drawing and what you're playing. <laughs> He's mostly drawing. Mostly drawing. <laughs> I'm gonna put an immortality's burden. A fourteen cards in here? Have to get rid of some cards. Yeah. I think he might be blowing up. I How many cards up. can you discard? All right. I can discard a card. Play a card. Play a card. I do have a fly free, so I'm going to play that. Which will allow me to discard a card. And then play a card. Oh, but you do have your base power, too. Yeah. Uh... Uh... 
Oh, this is bad. This is not good. <laughs> I blow up the beginning of my turn, don't I? Oh, end of your turn. No Archimedes failsafe. No, I don't have one. You want to draw a card? Yeah. No. Can I discard two cards? Oh no. Did you oh no. Oh no. <laughs> the blowing up is happening. Yep. You're still alive. And you got two hit points. Oh wait, <laughs> and then you get yourself again. <laughs> You played Matter Collapser, you shouldn't have played that. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna play. Am I alive? I don't think I'm alive. <laughs> you're alive. You have three. Regain two hit points. You're looking a little rough. And then you're gonna take some more damage. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. I've got nine cards in my hand. But I'm gonna do so much damage at the beginning of my next turn, maybe. No, no, all my all my equipment blew up. Yeah, they're all gone. These designs, just like Icarus's wings, mean. Yep. Maybe I Captain Thunder will give you a hit point. Jinkaron says, "I hope there will be expansions." That would be cool. There's a, going to be at least one. The Magical Mysteries Pack with Eldritch and Lantern Jack. Yeah. Along with Malador the Mystic Villain and Subterra Environment. Pretty excited about that. It's fun stuff. Yeah. Lantern Jack is a pretty cool twist on a hero. And Eldritch mm -hmm. is fascinating deck design he has no one shots no <laughs> and no ongoings equipments and spells it's really interesting but yes but he, boy can he do a lot of stuff needs. yeah yeah and once he gets going he can enable quite a bit Unfortunately, there's minus one m melee damage to the ship. Yeah, you're not going to be able to hit the ship with that, Steve, because it has nope. reduced melee nope. damage to it by one. Yeah. Nope. And then this one. Built that ship expecting it might be punished. Right. What was that, Chris? <laughs> oh, they built that ship expecting it. Like, you need to be punched, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's got, got punch-resistant armor. Yeah. Wait, there's more. Right? So many options. There's always more for Johnny Rocket.
Goodbye, Metagroove. Metagroove. Uh -huh. oh, here's Cap. I can do is give everyone one hit. So I'm gonna do that. It's like I'll take increases it. his health by one third. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Heck yes. Now I have three more hit points than I need. Um. Okay. So who picks a card? No, thank you. I'd say Star Knight. I've got a big hand of cards. At this point. Sure. Uh, Iron Moose has a question. Uh, for those of us who came here entirely from Sentinels of the Multiverse side, what is Mutants and Masterminds? And want to take I'm a crack at that? I'm glad you asked, Iron Moose. <laughs> Mutants and Masterminds is a tabletop superhero role-playing game. Uh, it was originally published uh, in 2002. Um, it is currently in its third edition, uh, which was published uh, about uh, 10 years ago. Um and uh, is based on the uh, D20 uh, system, uh, but uh, has developed considerably uh, from that point uh, into a fairly unique system of its own in a lot of regards. Mm hmm Indeed. The uh, Earth Prime setting you're seeing featured here with these characters has been uh, the core setting for Mutants and Masterminds since its first edition. Again, there was just a, a reprint Kickstarter happened, right? Yes, indeed. Yeah. We just did a, a Kickstarter to reprint the uh, the Deluxe Heroes Handbook as well as two of the main um, power source books, Power Profiles and Gadget Guide. Cool. Yeah, I think one of the things that draws people to Mutants and Masterminds is this. Um, we have a pretty in-depth character creation system that really lets you customize the superhero that you really want to play. Mm -hmm. um, it's built around a point by system so you instead of having classes and archetypes and stuff like that you can just build whatever superhero strikes mm -hmm. your fancy yep cool so looking at the Guru Mothership here when we get it down to zero it is going to flip instead mm -hmm. restored to 30 hit points each environment card is destroyed each player discards their hand and draws as many cards as they discarded this way uh, each player destroys each non-character card in their play area except for two, then go immediately to the start of the next villain turn, skipping all turns in between. So that's exciting. Right. Uh, because we're entering the cosmic plane, right? We're no longer... <clears throat> yes. Or in the psychic plane, that is. Psychic we're... plane to, uh, to battle the metamind. Right. The psychic level. So we're losing our stuff because we're <clears throat> going into the, the psychic plane, which is actually interesting for Star Knight because... A lot of my stuff does things when it's destroyed. <laughs> mm. I'm just thinking of what... A lot of my stuff did stuff when it was destroyed, too. But... Your stuff did. Not good you stuff. probably would have wanted the <laughs> meta mind to flip before that happened on your turn. <laughs> yeah, that would have been kind of the ideal if it was. Yeah. Uh, I'm just looking... I might have the... I could probably flip meta mind right now. Do we want to do that? I'm down, down. A, Yeah, there's really not a lot of downside to it yeah. apart from having to reshuffle our hands. Because I can do Starbeam for 7 damage, and then mm -hmm. I get to do Collimator for another 3, and then 1 damage for my power. So, yeah, let's go it. ahead. Star beam. Oh, but I didn't get to... Oh, yeah. There were no cards in my trash, so I didn't get to do that extra two damage. Hang on a second. Uh. I have to... <laughs> yeah, I might not have enough. Uh-oh. If I, if I did two cards, that's five plus three plus three. Okay, it's enough. I need to rewind. So we'll, we have to rewind together, hit that little back two arrows at the top left of the screen... 
and then we'll go back to Star Knight play a card. And we all have to click on it for technical reasons and huh. because you don't want to make in multiplayer you don't want people to be like jumping around with undo right. on you without all agreeing, so. So if I, if I Starbeam with two cards. Five. And one card. Then we can get exact. Uh -huh. Oh no, it's melee and it's minus one. <laughs> <laughs> it reduces the melee no. damage. Well, okay, it's gonna be at one hit point, so we don't. Uh, we whatever. Uh, Daedalus can it's do one more. We need. <laughs> That's fine. We're almost there. Daedalus <laughs> can do two. Is... <laughs> yeah, I heal two damage at the end of my turn every turn, which is good. Right. It's good. The haunting of Lantern Hill. Oh no, reduce HP recovery by two. Get out of here. Yeah. Alright. I will protect Daedalus, Daedalus from this. Magic. But no one else. <laughs> I'm calling Lantern Jack. Iron Moose is asking me, do you think we could get an in media's res style effect for when we crash into the psychic plane? Possibly. So Iron Moose is referencing um action hero stunt or a stunt man a hero from mm -hmm. uh, multiverse who has one card in his deck which says go to his turn like no matter what's going mm -hmm. on like it just cancels everything and goes to his turn um, yeah. and then it removes itself from the game so you can only do it once per game and it has a special cutscene in the digital version where he comes in on a helicopter and everything <laughs> so the same technical thing happens with metamind uh, so Johnny Rocket and Captain can manage this, I think. Yeah, I can take it. <clears throat> I gotta find some way to kill all those ghosts over there at Lantern Cemetery. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, that's, turn, that's cutting out your HP, HP recovery. Oh, like Ven Venomine's gonna destroy the environment card. Anyway, when it's taken yeah. out. So if you can do one damage to Metamind, it will destroy the, uh, the, the haunting. Environment. And I do one damage to Man of Mind. Yeah, Icarus Bombardment. Or Leak. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or one of your one of those powers. And that's a one shot. Or you could use Force Wave Doru. It's another option because you you can decide that that's one that gets destroyed by Man of Mind when it flips, right? So you won't take the yeah. damage. Maybe I still need to lose two cards for the end of my turn. No, but you won't because when Metamind flips, oh. you can It'll save. Wipe out your hand. Yeah, the Doru is going to get destroyed. Make sure to hit the screw here first. I think. The Unless he destroys the screw anyways. No, it doesn't actually. All right, it's happening. Here we go. Boom. Fear that spaceship. All right, we all have to discard our hand, so the order doesn't really matter here unless someone all had right. discard effects, which is a thing in Sentinel sometimes, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we're listening to the, the Dreamer music now on my... Huh. On the stream, which is it's kind of a creepy music box. Kind of <laughs> apropos. <laughs> All right, and now we are drawing like 40 cards. So if you want to speed things up, you can hold <laughs> down the tab button or click in the bottom right. Uh, for the fast forward, I'm holding down tab because this can take a while with Meta Mind. You give me nine cards again? 12? Yeah, it oh, yeah. your whole Eat, hand. Yeah, everyone's going to, you're going to have 12 again, right? I had nine at the beginning of the last turn. Oh no, that's I did, but I drew three when I yeah, played. Yeah, yeah, three. There were three more. Yeah, so it'll be twelve. Doesn't seem good. That seems bad. <laughs> I 
And it's showing me everybody's cards being drawn. Yeah, so you yeah. can hold down tab and it oh. will go by a little yeah. quicker. <laughs> One thing in, in Settlers of Earth Prime, a lot of heroes have a lot of ways to draw lots of cards, so... It's kind of... It's not uncommon to have pretty big hand sizes. And now we are destroying cards. And the order could matter here, because Star Knight... What are my things going to do? Star Knight's cards do things when they get destroyed. Yeah. Not all of them do, but many of them do. Oh, I can discard the top card of my deck, draw a card, and play a card. That's pretty good. Uh, Supposed to pick you, Star Knight? Yeah. I'm the most complicated. <laughs> That meta mind art is great. Yeah, right. So I think it's hard light shield first. Mm hmm. And oh, wow, I have such a big discard now. That's so good. <laughs> oh, wow. This is really good for me. <laughs> Star Knight's like, yeah, bring it on, psychic plane. Right. <laughs> You've only empowered me. Yeah. And Collimator, when this card is destroyed, has an effect too. I can draw three cards with Cosmic Dynamo when it's destroyed. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's do that because it, this is going to keep going because I'm going to play cards off sort of the Star Knight as well. So I destroy. Sort of the Star Knight. I get to play another card. I have a lot of options here. Oh, I don't have my uh, Star Beam anymore because the other one was in my hand. Yeah. Is, is it still technically uh, Daedalus' turn? Uh... Yes, because we haven't gone to yes. the villain turn yet. <laughs> this, is, this is all the effects of the uh, Metamine flipping. Yeah. Dang, Metamine. Does Metamine do any big damage here? I could I could prevent the next damage dealt to one hero target. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to do that. Oh, yeah, I could do Energy Bash mm -hmm. and do more destroying. <laughs> Why not? Right. I... I start, the sword is still in play because it's being destroyed right now. Uh, I can destroy the Collimator now and keep yeah. that plus one damage while this is all happening. And then that's energy bash bonus damage. <laughs> so that was, yeah, I, I did half of it. was like half, half the Metamine's hit points right there. Yeah, just from its thing where it's trying to hurt us. <laughs> Then I don't think it matters. We can just choose for me here. I don't think anyone has any effects that are going to be a big deal. Uh, I'm going to destroy my door just to be on the safe side. Mm -hmm. The other stuff doesn't do damage to me. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I have to destroy more cards, though. Yeah. I'll get rid of the Icarus card because I haven't gone to go get him in 4,000 years anyway. Yeah, at least your, your momentums don't do anything once they're in play, so... Right. Don't need to worry too much about which one it is. Which one I destroy, it's just I don't want to lose the particular effects that I can use. Yeah, but that's what I mean. None of these have any effects anymore, yeah. so... Yeah, true. It really doesn't matter. All right, and now we are back to Groom and Mind's turn. Dominate will. So any hero dealt damage this way deals one damage to each other hero target. Uh, we don't have any bonuses or anything like that. I think I'm we'll sure just. Yeah, you're highest, so we'll just let you have it. You're anyway. highest. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. I've also got an imperative. He kicked your ass. <laughs> <laughs> My armor kept me safe from that psychic damage. Yeah. 
You also have psychic armor. Mm -hmm. Oh, so discord would have been so bad. So discord. Yeah. That's. I'm glad that got played second though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this is the at the end of each. No, there's a start of each turn top that, that we had. Yeah, we have lots of card plays with this with this villain. Uh, mm -hmm. The hero target with the lowest HP deals the hero target with the highest HP one. So we're just choosing who's taking the damage from Daedalus here. My bad. Yeah. And I think you get... Yeah, there's no plus one because you got rid of like father, like son. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And yes, when I, when I think when I first played Guru Metamind on the tabletop, I was like, oh, the flip side's not that bad. Until I went back uh -huh. after and was like, oh, it's the start of each turn? Each, each turn? turn. <laughs> Play the top card? <laughs> That's a lot. So yeah, I definitely misplayed that the first time. But the video game is not going to let you yep. misplay that. <laughs> nope. Nope. Not the villain turn. Each turn. Each turn. And it... My, uh, my stepdaughter learned to play Magic... Uh, you know, in the like the Xbox version, mm. and whenever you're to play with actual cards, she's like, "I liked it when it just told you what cards you to could do. play." <laughs> right? Yeah, it's like AI yeah. that's handling the rules. It like suggests you a card on the Xbox version, right? It's like you should probably play this creature. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the cards you could possibly play. Right. Were lit up. Right. Which yeah. kind of is. A card. How many cards do I have in my hand? You use the Icarus to play the Icarus. Sorry, what was that? Uh, how can I tell how many? What number of cards I have in my hand? Uh, if you right-click one of your equipments that care, it will say in the top right. Oh, I don't have any equipments that care right now. Yeah, the Atlas Gravity Well, for example, or the Force oh. Wave Doru, or. Or you could like find them in your trash too. Um, I will play an Archimedes failsafe just to get some HP back. Mm. That's a good idea. And click on a card to use its power. And we'll use my core power allows me to discard two cards and then I may draw a card. Uh, we'll get rid of the anti-gravity well and the force wave door for now. And I will go ahead and draw a card. Slowly coming back to life, y'all. I got eight, I got eight HP now. Nice. All right. Well, that's slowly, come, slowly coming back to life is Daedalus's brand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And sleeper agents. Imperative. Whenever a non-Gru villain card enters play, Gru Metamind deals each non-villain target one psychic damage. And there's plus one as well now. The imperative, yeah. If you get two health, you lose two. Right? <laughs> well, because he's got his armor. Oh. All right, now you can punch the Gru Meta Mind as much as you like. Yeah, get him. So distracting right. chatter is also very good, stopping him from dealing mm. damage to us. Yes. Uh, target cannot deal damage for the start of my turn, which is handy for the amount of stuff that the metamind can do. Mm -hmm. Especially when it has six cards left and most of them are going to be killing right, us. Damage causing. Yeah. yeah. Punching us in the mouth. Do that. Uh, I love that the metamind is at a Ferris wheel right now in the Psychics <laughs> game. <laughs> Yeah, if we're in the, the psychic yeah. amusement park plane. <laughs> oh no, this is the clown nightmare. 
So you're saying I should play the Madame Mittermeier's soundtrack. <laughs> That's in Villains of the Multiverse? I think so. Do I have that as a separate soundtrack? That's a question. Yes. Court of Blood. Temple of Julan, Magmaria. Madame Mittermeier's fantastical festival of conundrums and curiosities. Yeah, Jean-Marc has created so much amazing music for us for Sentinels and other games. Really looking forward to yeah, more like, Earth Prime stuff. The, the main theme, I'm like always singing it to myself when uh, I'm like not anywhere near work. So <laughs> if that's yeah, anything to base things on. It's, it's really it's great. great. I am really looking forward to more of that. Yeah. It's been fun uh, talking about musical inspirations for different environments and characters and things, too. Yeah. We just need to clone Jean-Marc. Maybe the Gru can help us with that. <laughs> right? He's a great programmer and a great composer. Oh, that's tough. And he has three kids? Like, somehow. Wow. He manages everything. <laughs> there aren't many people in the world that make me feel tired, but I just got tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell him you said that. <laughs> just, I could clone our development team. That would be good. Right? <laughs> Triple the Steves. Yeah. Johnny, why are you punching us? <laughs> I'm not punching any of you. Relax. <laughs> Word that it gave you the choice to. Yeah, it's an option. Right? It's an option. You might have a redirect. Hmm. All right. All you cap. It feels like something Raven would do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is getting destroyed because, or it got. What happens? To that? I think it's discarded instead and play the next card. That's what happens there. Gain two hit points. Yeah, it yeah. like consumes the Gru within itself, I assume, is yep. what that it kind recover, of is destroys representing. Destroys cards and recovers. Yeah. All Not even a mortal metamind. Are you done <laughs> metamind? Oh, the, the metamind likes to think that it is. Yeah. Oh. We're, we're going to show it otherwise. <laughs> All right. Between Captain Thunder and Star Knight, I think we can do some yeah, damage I, here. I'm... Or a thunder punch. Nice. Thunder punch. Because we just need to put maximum damage on this game. As easy as one, two, three. Wabam. Okay, let's see. Strike. Good hearts, right. Captain Right? We're down to eight for you, Star Knight. Bring it home. Well, if I had another Star Beam handy, that would be it. That would do it, but... Mm. Oh, Groom of Mine tries to deal damage, but thanks to someone talking to oh. him a whole bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Over here! I'm sorry, am I breaking your concentration? <laughs> I hate when somebody talks a whole bunch at my face. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can do most of that, but not eight, I don't think. Oh, no, I, no, there's no Sword of the Star Knight cards in my deck. No! All right, I need to rewind. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Let's go back to play a card. I'm gonna have to play the sword like, itself like a chump. <laughs> if we can rewind there, uh, Steve and Chris. Yeah. You got it. I will try not yeah. to play cards Sorry, in error. Sorry, I wasn't sure how to, how to exit off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No worries. So, man, I guess it's... 
The Collimator is my best damage right now. Mm. And I'm going to choose the Star Beams to go back to my deck. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ooh. If I move four cards from my trash to the bottom of my deck, I may put an equipment card from my trash into play or play one card. Mm. Is there a one shot that does something cool here? Trick. Yeah, augmented burst. Sure. I think it's still going to be short by like. Oh, energy bash? No, energy bash, I'm short by one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm still going to do it. Close. Oh, no, the collimator does more damage. That's good. All right, we're going yeah. to do it here. This is going to be it. I should be putting swords back in my deck. Mm. Play one card. Yeah, Star Knight has a lot of tricks. Yeah. Uh, a lot of flexibility. Wait, I thought I had that card in my... No, is that card in my trash that I was looking at? It must have been in my trash. Am I seeing things? I'm seeing things, right? The trick is... <laughs> which source are you looking at? Yeah. Yeah. Because I thought I, I had the energy bash, but it was in my deck or trash, I guess. So. Uh oh. Well, augmented burst it oh. is. Yeah, I thought you had one in your hand, too, but... Just one. Actually, I could have moved zero. But whatever. Oh, I have to hit someone. <laughs> all right. Sorry, Johnny. You'll probably be fine. That's all right. You'll be I'm fine. Digging. You'll be fine. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big hit, Johnny. <laughs> Another so discord. Too close to the meta mind. The bustling Maria metropolis. Maria tagged you for all your chatter. Revealed a bunch of cards that weren't locations. Yeah, this distracting chatter is doing a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> like he's reading War and Peace at 10 times speed. <laughs> Confuse him. In the native Russian, but Johnny Rocket doesn't speak Russian. <laughs> doesn't speak Russian, so. <laughs> All right, Daedalus. Bring us home. I'll do my best. Oh, except he's going to heal a whole bunch because all the grooves got shuffled back in. Yep. All right. He's finished. And he's making me punch everybody. Yeah, maybe you don't have the damage here. I'm, I don't know that I do. I'm going to try the... What's Icarus Bombardment do? Let me double check. Yeah, it's three damage. Oh, so and then he's going to start playing cards on Johnny's oh, turn. Man. Maybe we we were so close to having that. Your first thing here is your discard from the Icarus. Yep. Uh. Him getting one for one turns for all of us is pretty rough. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna play the first bombardment. Man, that distracting chatter is saving our lives, though. <laughs> yeah. Because we have all been dead, but. No, I just did so much damage to the whole team. <laughs> yeah. Not the only damage. Oh, up to three. Oh, but I can't shoot the groove. The groove. There, yeah, there are no groove eight drones, so. To shoot at. Yeah. You can destroy one of those ongoings. That's probably good, too. Because he's going to start dealing damage on Johnny Rocket's turn. Yep. 
that uh, distracted chatter is going to end at the beginning of my turn. And I can do that by using the power of my Hoplite armor. Discard a card and I play a card. This is my Eureka moment. Which ongoing do you think I should get rid of? Sleeper agents? Oh. Or... Yeah, sleeper agents is going to be a lot. And yeah. so discard. So discard Ooh, actually discard. is no lot right now, right? So yeah, it's sleeper agents, I think. Or metamind's imperative either. And mind's imperative kind of goes away on its own if we're alive yeah. by then. <laughs> I'll get rid of a sleeper agent. Hey, you're down to less cards in hand now. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could play some of these items because they would be helpful. Yeah. I can help you with that if we're alive by this. If we make it to your turn. I've got stuff that does. Hopefully we win before we need to get back to your turn. <laughs> That's the goal. Yeah, maybe Johnny will save us with health cards. Only five health, right? Let's see what we got. Oh man, I'm not getting any good cards. I'll draw one more. Iron Moose asks, what is this music? This is the Heroes of the Multiverse Season 1 soundtrack. Legacy's theme song right now. Yeah. It's a one-shot which is causing us to take a lot of damage from sleeper agents. Yeah. But at least there's only one sleeper agents now. <laughs> so. Sitting all of us, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think Johnny should be able to win the game this turn, though. I hope so. You can, like, play all your picking up speeds and everything and fast footworks and end with interstate charge. Punch him like you mean it, Johnny. Right. Oh man, this so discord is brutal. Oh right. <laughs> but we're alive. So far. Oh, I just got back to nine hit points. Come on, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all at. Uh, you were the highest now with four. Yeah, I'm down to two. We had to showcase the incapacitated art, right? I don't know if we're yeah. getting incapacitated. Or the, the bloodied art. The... Yeah. If oh, Johnny... my turn already? Yeah. Thanks, Metamind. <laughs> Thanks, Metamind. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to survive. Right. Fire so everything, Johnny. <laughs> what's, what's, my, what's my best bet here? Play all the things that have a play card icon on them. <laughs> <laughs> We're so confident when Star Knight slashed up when we first got into the Psychic Scape. So I can just play any the cards in any order? Yeah, well not any any order, but playing picking up speeds are good because they play momentum, so you can like play all the picking right. up speeds off each other. Yeah, alright. And then you get... Yeah. You could even do fast footwork off of that. And then you're going to have four more card plays after that. Like you could do supersonic surges, you could do zigzag windups. Yeah, the supersonic surge will increase your damage, so you get to the punching. And here's where it does matter that you want to destroy the zigzag windup, because 
Yeah. That picking up speed, those picking up speeds are still like in the middle of going to play the next card, and so if you destroyed it, you would lose out on some card plays. Right. All right. And do I want to? I want to play another card. Yeah. Keep playing. You could even do another supersonic surge if you wanted to. Yeah. Because the currently you're off the play from the last picking up speed. So, yeah. Or sorry, off the fast footwork. So yeah. well, you can destroy that. Destroy you can destroy that, that one, one safely now. Yeah. There's a lot of like really technical detail in getting the most of Johnny Rocket for sure. Getting the, yeah, getting the right <laughs> order. All right, so play. Now you can just flex on MetaMind. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, I could do. Well, still life doesn't really matter at this point in my turn. So I think it's pretty much going to be Interstate Charge. Yeah, that'll do it. At this point. All right, let's do it. Nice. Yes! <laughs> Bam! Big old. Psychic plane punch. Brain down the big dumb brain. Down Boom. the psychic highway. <laughs> American. American. <laughs> wow, look at our health. That was. Yeah, yeah, that was close. Yeah, that ended up yeah. being a lot closer than I thought it was at the end. <laughs> 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 Nicely done, team. Yeah. Yeah, so we got the, the meta mine sort of getting glitched out there you know it's still around but mm -hmm. it's not going to be a threat for a little while and the spaceships are right. flying off into the sunset yep <laughs> and of course there's a Ooh. huge mess of grew stuff everywhere yeah there's a lot of red slime all over the place <laughs> <laughs> dr metropolis will get it yeah, yeah. that can be uh that could be your next m m campaign is the cleanup crew <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> Yeah. Cool, cool. Well, that's kind of what we yeah. created. Control. Sorry, that's what was kind that? Of what we created Doctor Metropolis for, in some regards, mm. is he's the he's the the character who fixes all the damage to the because he's the spirit that he. That's uh, true. Yeah. So he's he's the in-game reason why Freedom City is not like in rubble. Right. All the time. At least. <laughs> cool. Well, more than any any other city is. Like... Right. I'm in Columbus, and our state flower is the orange traffic cone. <laughs> nice. They're in bloom, as I understand it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Every spring and every winter. It is the season. Year. They, you know, they you have to plant them in potholes, and then they spring up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. So I don't think we'll have time for another game, but I'm gonna mm. pop into the card library here on the stream. And show, I don't know, Bowman. We were talking about Bowman. Bowman is cool. Yeah, Bowman's a fan favorite. So yeah. I think folks would like to see that. And if you want to learn more about the heroes and villains of the setting, we've got the information in this screen uh, that's going to be all in there for you to learn all about it. So there's been a ton of great stuff written by the team at Green Ronin that uh, is all part of the the story, and also this bug where the cards mm -hmm. aren't invisible is my my fault. So don't blame them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, tons of good stuff. Uh, Captain Thunder, Daedalus, Doctor Metropolis, Eldritch in the expansion pack, Johnny mm -hmm. Rocket, Lady Liberty, and all the artwork for the the new artwork for the character cutouts here, the portraits is done by a variety of different artists that we hired based on the, the crowdfunding. So mm -hmm. uh, we're pretty happy with how it all turned out. And it's cool that there's a lot of different styles showcased um, yeah. in those. So, so yeah, that's been um, the first preview of Earth Prime Digital. Uh, thanks so much to uh, folks from Green Ronin for joining. We're happy to uh, play the game with you and uh, show everyone all this stuff. We'll be doing more previews uh, as we go along on our channel here. Um, and I would say, you know, feel free, uh, Green Ring guys, to show it off on your streams as well, as much as you mm -hmm. like. Um, 
or if you want to, you know, ask me like, hey, is this thing okay to show? Like in terms of, <laughs> is it working well yeah, enough? Yeah. Uh, we can definitely chat about that stuff. So. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Iron Moose. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Iron Moose awesome. has a quick question. Is there going to be a stream with John and beta testers? That could definitely happen. That could happen. Maybe, you know, maybe that's a holiday special. You know, it's that yeah. time of year, the time of sharing and giving. <laughs> exactly. Punching. And punching. <laughs> and punching. And psychic trauma. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Uh, awesome. So, yeah, thanks again to uh, Steve yeah. and Alex and the Invisible Chris for <laughs> joining us. It's great to have you. Thanks for having us here. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. All right, we'll uh, see you all next time on are there streams on the channel and on Hannah Lever Live and Green Learning YouTube. Uh, great to guest over there. So that's going to do it for tonight. Uh, we'll see you all next time. Good night. Good night, everybody.